The next built-in string function that we'll work with is called replace. And what it does is it replaces parts of a string. So if you wanted to get rid of a certain occurrence of a character, um, or you wanted to replace all spaces with commas or something like that, you could use replace. And the syntax looks like this. Here's an example uh, where we have the string hello world. And you know what? I just realized this again. That's a bad word right there. So if we wanted to get rid of that, we could use replace, hello world, comma, what we're trying to remove, and then what we want to replace it with. And it will do that to all occurrences. In this case, hell only occurs once. So that's what our output looks like. Percent, star, octothorpe, oh, what's this thing called? There's an actual name for it, the at symbol, but there's a real name, and then O world. So if I copy that over and just run it now, you can see that's the output that we get. Uh, we could also do something like replace hello world and let's just replace all L's with uh, sevens, why not? And that's what we need to do there. And then we get hello world but with sevens instead of L's. You know, we could do the, the same thing just to show you one more with O's and replace them with zero. Now, one thing that is important to, to pay attention to, um, let's say I have hello here with a capital O and hello here with a lowercase o, or excuse me, world with lowercase. So the idea is just I have upper and lowercase o's in here. If I try and replace o, and let's say I just want to replace it with, um, let's do an asterisk. What do you think will happen? And the answer is it only replaces exactly this character. So it is case sensitive. So it didn't touch this capital O here. So that's one way to use replace. The other way that I mentioned is that it can replace multiple things. So here's a silly example where I have a string cheese, space, bread, space, coffee, space, milk. Maybe it's a grocery list or something. And I want to replace all spaces with the string and, well, space and space. Basically, the output will be cheese and bread and coffee and milk. It inserted that right there, here, here, and here, every time there's a space. So if I try running that, you can see it works, cheese and bread and coffee and milk. So now let's do something with the book data we have. We'll do something really uh, simple and similar to what we just did. Let's replace all E's with threes. And we'll just do lowercase e. So anytime there's a lowercase e, like namesake, Norse, American, we'll replace it with a three. So to do that is a select, replace, and don't ask why. <laughs> it's not really uh, a real world example, but select, replace, we want to do title. And then what are we trying to replace? Lowercase e's. What do we want to replace them with? Three. And then what table? From books. And we could get more specific, but let's just do from books. And you can see we get the namesake with three threes and all the way down. Consider the lobster, cannery row, and so on. And that's pretty much it to using replace. A bit of a bonus at the end here is that I'll show you we can combine replace with other functions like we've already seen. We use concat and substring together. So we could try the same thing by using replace and concat, for instance. So I could do something like, if I work in this book code, I will comment this out, which I haven't shown how to do yet. Highlight it, and on a Mac, it's command slash. On a PC, I believe it is control slash. So I'm gonna comment it out, which means it just won't run. It's here, so I can see it, but SQL treats it, or MySQL treats it as if there's nothing there when it runs it. So what I want to do now, I want to combine replace. So what I'm going to do is select, and I'm just going to fill in the, some rough blank, uh, blanks here. So we have replace, and then we're going to have from books. Um, but what we want to do is not just replace things. I'll do the same thing where we re replace all E's with threes. So that's replace title, the lowercase e, with three, like that but I'm only going to take the first 10 characters. 
like we did with substring. So I need to do substring and I want to do substring of this whole thing. And you know, I'm realizing as this goes on, this is a little convoluted. So I'll throw up another don't panic here. This is more just me showing you that it's something you can do, uh, but it's not essential that you wrap your head around this entirely. But just to show you, so substring, and the first argument is replace this whole thing. So basically, we're taking a substring of this and then of this. And we want to go from 1 to 10. So that's a lot there. And now, if I paste it in here, you can see what it did was first replace all e's with 3, and then take the, the uh, substring of that from 1 to 10. And of course, we could give it a better name because it is pretty ugly. So we could do as weird string, let's say. And now we have weird string up here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show that we could combine them together. Why you would do this exactly, again, you probably wouldn't. Um, but the key here is that they're kind of like Lego pieces. You can reorder them. You can, uh, well, maybe more like nesting dolls, actually, where you can nest them inside of one another. So like we did substring inside of a king cat, we can do a replace inside of substring. So that's enough of replace. We're gonna continue with a couple more and then we'll do some challenges.